All right, so I am here with um, an agency owner who's got some questions regarding um, how to kick things off. Um, how's it going today? Not too bad, you? Good, good. All right, so for the purpose of this call, um, he does want to stay anonymous, so I'm not going to mention his name. But we're just going to go through a couple of the questions that he had because I think it would be um, helpful for you guys to see that as well. Um, so he asks, uh, how do you safely handle payments and what's the onboarding process look like? Um, example, using the direct mail campaign, um, I get a call, a local roofer who wants to try a Google Ads, does not have an ad account, uh, but he says over the phone that he's ready to get going. Um, so what I would recommend and our best practice internally is um, the client should always own the Google Ads account. That's our recommendation. Um, mm -hmm. We want it to be their business asset. We're just the steward of it. We're just the manager of it, if you will. Um, so our recommendation would be for them to create their Google Ads account and then for them to, or for you to move that account into your MCC. So during our onboarding process, if they do not have an account already, what I would typically do is um, number one, send over the onboarding email and it's got a payment link and then it's got a short questionnaire. And then the last thing on it, if they don't have a Google Ads account, is a link to set one up and instructions on how to do it. And the reason we do mm -hmm. it that way is um, you, you can be in a situation where, let's say you're recording the call and they know you're recording the call, um, that you can take credit card information over the call and you ask their permission to use it in a Google Ads account. My opinion though, it's a little bit iffy and they could always weasel out and be weird about it. So in my opinion, I wouldn't go that route. I would I would do it where they create the account, they move it in, and this way their their credit card's always attached to it. It never comes back to you that you did something fraudulent or that you weren't supposed to or that you didn't have permission to do. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. So maybe if like if I'm talking to uh like so I'm I'm dealing with say a roofer. Yep who he doesn't even really know how to turn his computer on. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And so, yep. so basically, if, uh, you know, he, email is a struggle for this guy, right? So, yep. I mean, if I had a, a maybe a Loom video where he could just wa upload it to YouTube, yep. I could just refer to my clients to that YouTube video. 100%. And, yeah. You can, okay. you can add that directly into your onboarding um, email itself. Perfect. So, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can definitely do that. Um, and and when, you, when someone's setting up a new ads account, the main purpose of them doing it is just so that they can enter the credit card details. From there, um, you're going to ask for that Google Ads customer ID number. You're going to move it into the MCC account and then um, and then get the the permission granted. The only the only reason we do it that way is I don't want to touch the client's credit card. I don't want to be in a situation at any point in time where they say I don't have permission to do that. You know, you, there are workarounds for that. You can get a credit card authorization form. You can get, um, you know, a letter saying or a form or a piece of paper saying that they are authorizing you to set up the Google Ads account, that they're uh, authorizing you to use the, the credit card inside that Google Ad account for a budget. Here's a said budget. For me, it's just too many steps. And for us, we've always just found it easier to, to, to do it for the client. Now, if you're in a situation where um, the client is really really tech struggle um or our str tech struggle struggles with tech something you could potentially do mm -hmm. would be in writing like in an email saying i'm you know authorizing you to um set up my google ads account for me and here's my credit card information um, what you could potentially mm -hmm. do is create a new email account for them so let's say it's abc roofing at um uh, dot com what i would do is create abc roofing at gmail.com and then um, set up the Google Ads account for them, add the card details into there, um, move that into your MCC account, log back in, grant the access. Once that's done, um, in that same email chain, reply back to the client and say, um, we've set up this Google Ads account on your behalf as requested. Here's the email address we used um, to set that up for you. And here's where you're going to log in whenever you need to access the account. Um, please keep these for your records as this is the only way you're going to be able to access the account. You could potentially do it that way, but you want to keep you want to keep a document string in there that says that um, you know they've requested for you to do that. Yeah, definitely, I could see the liability there too. Yep, yep. So that would be our, our our best practices on it. Our best practice, first best practice is they do it themselves. Um, secondarily, would be we can do it for them, but it's not something we like to do. It's something if they're truly truly tech deficient, we'll do it, but not our best practice. I guess we 
I guess you could kind of create the account up to the point where you have to enter your credit card details because Google's pretty persistent about entering that. Oh, 100%. As well. Yep. Yeah, you need yeah. that part. And and yeah. it, there'd be no part in you, point in you doing it if you weren't going to get to that point anyway. So mm -hmm. something you could p potentially do is um, create the account and then call them on the phone and then get their credit card details over the phone and enter it in and then shoot them that email with the login information. You could do it that way as well. If you don't want to get the, you know, getting the credit card details over the email um, isn't necessarily the safest thing to do. I, I don't recommend that um, just mm -hmm. because if you ever get hacked, then they have that access. So um, yeah, exactly. It's probably a safer bet. Um, but you got me here on the phone. What other questions do you have for me? Uh, that was really about it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just trying to set up my systems right now. I'm, I uh, bought that book, Systemology, that you recommended in your courses there as well. Very nice. Uh, love, the, yeah, lo love the direct mail course. So basically, right now, um, I'm not scrape. I'm not buying email lists. I'm just kind of doing it locally. I'm just kind of googling plumbers and hitting up all the plumbers and try, just trying to do the direct mail that way. So I'm not getting the volume out that I probably should be. Okay. Uh, but I'm just trying to do local right now. Okay. Are you following up any of the um, the direct mail with calls to help um, bump up conversion rate if you're going to stay on the lower side in terms of volume? What uh, what what I haven't even actually got to the uh, the mail out part right now. I'm just I'm just trying to gather all the lists of the emails and I'm going to hit them up on Facebook as well. Yep. Uh, but my process will probably end up being um, something like uh, the direct mail follow up with an email and follow up with a, a follow up call as well. Yeah. Good. Good. Because it's local. Yep. Yeah. Good. I like that. Cool. Do you do you have any other any other questions for me or anything I can help with? Uh, no, that's really about it right now. Um, but yeah, I definitely probably have some more in the future here. Okay, cool. Well, uh, as always, if you need anything, just hit us up. Um, and that's it for today, man. I, I appreciate your I business. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a great day. I can't wait. I, you too. I can't wait to get started on this uh, direct mail course here. Thank you, man. Good luck with everything. Let me know okay. if you have any questions. Thank you. All right. Have a good day.